Hi, this is Dr. A. In our last medical terminology video on the cardiovascular system, we're going to go over the therapeutic procedures. All right, we'll start with some medical procedures. So cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is the procedure to restore the cardiac output in oxygenated air for a person that is in cardiac arrest. It uses chest compressions and artificial respiration, which is uh, can be done by mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, but is often done with bagging, so that's the breathing, the oxygenation and then the chest compressions or uh, to stimulate the uh, pumping action of the heart to circulate the blood. Uh, defibrillation is a procedure that converts irregular heartbeats such as fibrillation uh, using an electrical shock. So uh, yeah, we shock the heart back into a normal rhythm. Extracorporeal circulation or ECC is routing the blood to a heart-lung machine during a surgical uh, procedure. Obviously, a surgical procedure occurs on the heart, so fixing uh, something in the heart where the blood needs to be circulated elsewhere, but obviously you want to keep the person alive. An implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or an ICD, is a device that is implanted into the heart to deliver an electric shock to restore a, a normal heart rhythm. It is especially helpful for ventricular fibrillation. A pacemaker implantation is a device that is implanted into the heart to substitute for the natural pacemaker. And so uh, a pacemaker could also be a defibrillator. It depends on the need of the patient. So it either is a pacemaker where it sets the pace of the heart instead of the SA node setting the pace of the heart, uh, or it's a pacemaker and a defibrillator where uh, if there's an abnormal heart rhythm, it will uh, send a shock just to the heart to put the heart back in normal rhythm. Sclerotherapy is an injection of a salt solution to treat varicose veins. A thrombolytic therapy is the use of drugs such as streptokinase or tissue type plasminogen activator to dissolve a blood clot and to restore blood flow. So um, the thrombolytic therapies seem to be used more um, in um, access uh, emergency rooms that don't have um, cardiac catheterization uh, capabilities to stabilize a patient so that the patient can be shipped to a larger hospital where they can do cardiac catheterization. Uh, here's an x-ray showing a pacemaker that's been implanted on the left side of the chest and the electrode wires that are running to the heart muscle. An aneurysmectomy is a surgical removal of an aneurysm. And, uh, and an aneurysm, if you remember, is a bulging of a vessel. An arterial anastomosis is a surgical joining of two arteries uh, when an artery is severed or damaged, um, a section or a damaged section is removed. Um, so uh, remove the damaged section and join two arteries. An arthrectomy is a surgical removal of an arthroma. An arthroma would be a plaque uh, inside of an artery. A coronary artery bypass graft, or cabbage, is um, when a blood vessel from another location, often a leg vein, but sometimes an arm vein, is grafted to route the blood around a blocked coronary artery. So this is if it's completely blocked, you can't restore blood flow any other way, it would create a bypass for basically circulation to go around the blockage. An embolectomy is the surgical removal of an embolus. And an embolus, if you remember, is a, a loose clot that's traveling through the um, circulation. An endorectomy, um, so endorec, endor, uh, I'm so sorry, endarterectomy. I have to concentrate to say that one. Removal of a disease inner lining of an artery uh, usually to remove um, plaque, atherosclerotic plaque. A heart transplant is a replacement of a diseased heart with a donor heart. Intracoronary artery stent is a stent placed within a coronary artery. It treats coronary ischemia due to atherosclerosis. Um, I have pictures of that also in the signs and symptoms one. Uh, ligation in stripping is the removal of varicose veins that, uh, or damaged vein. The damaged vein is tied off, which is ligation, and then removed, which is stripping. Oh, here is the stent. I got it in here also. So uh, a balloon deflated with the stent around it uh, is put through the plaque uh, if there's still an opening. 
the balloon is inflated and the stent kind of locks into place and it props the artery open so that blood flow can be restored. You can only do stenting if there is still uh, an opening through the plaque where the balloon can go. If it is completely 100% blocked, then you are looking at doing a cabbage, um, so a bypass graft to get around the blockage. All right, percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty, or PTCA, the balloon catheter is inserted through skin into a coronary artery and is inflated to dilate and narrow the blood vessel. A stent is a stainless steel tube that's placed within blood vessels to widen the lumen. We just looked at it. A valve replacement is a removal of disease valve and a replacement with an artificial valve. And valvoplasty is the surgical repair of a heart valve. So these are some of the um, synthetic valves that can be used to uh, replace a diseased valve. So let's look a little bit at some of the pharmacology terms. So an ACE inhibitor drug um, can produce vasodilation to decrease blood pressure, pressure um, and ACE is angioconverting enzyme inhibitor and um, angiotensin converting enzymes. So angiotensin tenses or uh, constricts artery and so it inhibits this enzyme from producing the angiotensin that constricts arteries. Um, some examples are low tensin and hypotensin. An antiarrhythmic, it reduces or prevents uh, cardiac arrhythmias like Tambacor and Corvert. An anticoagulant prevents blood clots formation like Warfarin and Coumadin, but there's a lot of also newer ones out there. An antilipidemic, it reduces the blood cholesterol levels like Lipitor and Zocor. And antiplatelet agents inhibit the ability of platelets to clump together in a blood clot like Plavix or Teclid. Um, aspirin is also an antiplatelet agent, uh, still cheaper also. Uh, and that, uh, we got one more, and that should be the last slide for our pharmacology. So um, beta blocker drugs um, lowers heart rate to treat hypertension in angina pectoris, like Opressor and Endorol. Your calcium channel blocker drugs decrease the force of heartbeat to treat hypertension, uh, angina pectoris, and congestive heart failure. These are your cardizem and procardia as examples. And a cardiotonic uh, increases the force of the heart contraction to treat congestive heart failure, and lamoxin is one of those. And so lastly, we have a diuretic. It increases urine production to reduce plasma volume to lower blood pressure, it makes you pee a lot, basically. Lasix is one of them. Uh, and then a thrombolytic dissolves uh, existing blood clots like um, TPA and activase are those, and we just mentioned those here uh, just a few slides ago. So, all right. Uh, oh, sorry, still got more. A vasodilator in a vasopressor the vasodilators relax smooth um, muscle in a wall of a blood vessel to reduce uh, blood pressure and increase blood flow to an ischemic area like a nitrodur so a nitroglycerin tablet for example and uh, a presiline and uh, a vasopressor contracts the smooth muscles of the wall of the blood vessels to raise the blood pressure and that's a uh, vasostrict as a vasopressor there you go. Now we're done. Uh, and that wraps up our cardiovascular system medical terminology.